What's up guys, welcome to your 16th Java tutorial. Again with me Travis and my bring back. And what we're going to do is pretty much our, I want to say our last math lesson, um, our last math tutorial for now. Um, but what we're going to get into is the actual math class because we can do addition, subtraction, all that stuff. What about like square root, cosine, sine, tangent, stuff like that. Obviously we could create something for a square root method within our uh, calculate class, but there's also another class called math that we can use. We don't even have to set up any methods. There's already a math class within Java. So let's just clean our class here and then let's set up a double value because uh, we're going to be working with like sine and cosine stuff like that. So we're just going to call this value a and a is equal to, you know, we could do point whatever but we can refer to a math class within Java, like I said, and we have all these methods that we can use. Pretty sweet, right? Uh, for example, we could set a equal to pi if we just do math dot capital P capital I, and that would be equal to our pi value, um, and then we could, you know, use pi and the radius to find the area of a circle or something like that. But let's just see some of the other methods that we can utilize from the math class. So we have math dot um, and we can see some of these other methods like the absolute value of a, w, a double. So we could say like, you know, what's absolute value of 23, negative 23. If you guys can't figure that out, it's just 23. But again, um, it's kind of a nice method that we can, can use. So again, we can uh, just refer to this math class and use a ton of different variables. As you can see, like arc sine or cosine, arc sine, arc tangent takes in a double value and if you just click on this you can see kind of a description over here um, that returns an angle between the ranges negative pi divided by 2 through pi divided by 2 as you'd expect with uh, arctan or arctangent but uh, you know we also have the sine a log method a uh, you know maximum between two doubles we pass in two different doubles and it tells us which one is greater uh, re returns that value. So, you know, that could be useful uh, as, a, as well as all these other values such as square root method which you guys could easily create in our calculate class but we can just use this math.sqrt and pass in like 3 and or actually, uh, I'm sorry, 9 we'll do that and now our c variable is going to be equal to 3 because it's the square root of 9. Pretty simple. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's just quick, but also we get to use some of the power of Java, some of the stuff that they include to, you know, do some more powerful math methods. And we don't even have to define the method ourselves. So that's pretty awesome. So now you guys can probably build a very cool calculator that, uh, you know, will impress your math teachers. Maybe put some cheat code methods in this calculator as well. Bring that to class. Just kidding, don't encourage that, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, even though it wasn't much of one, but I just wanted to show you this math method, or this math class, so you guys can uh, do some more powerful stuff within your application. So again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you later.